take okay. over. I'm Scott Camille. Mm -hmm. um, I'm on the Sierra Club, the Swanee St. John's Group um, Sierra Club Executive Committee. Mm -hmm. uh, and I'm on the political committee and I'm the publisher of the Swanee St. John's Group newsletter. Mm -hmm. uh, and um, I've been an activist for a very long time. Um, but most of my activism has been um, uh, anti-war, peace and justice. Mm -hmm. uh, and then um, I became a parent. Uh, and I think that um, all parents uh, everywhere in the world want their children to have it better than they have it. Uh, so, so that means to me that everybody is for the continuation of life on our planet. And in order for life to continue, we have to protect the water, we have to protect the land, uh, and, and we have to protect the air. So to me, um, working to protect the water, the land, and the air um, is, it should be something, something simple and something that everybody would be for. And I thought when I joined the Sierra Club that it would be kind of an easy job because everybody would be for the environment. Um, and it's turned out to be a very hard job. Uh, and a, a lot of people see the environment only as a means of making money. Um, and they don't care whether they hurt species uh, animals or plants. Um, they don't care if the water's polluted. Uh, all they care about is being able to make some money for their pockets right now. So I was surprised by that and, and we worked really hard to try to protect um, the environment so, so our children and our grandchildren um, can have as nice a place, even a better place than us. And, and the idea that um, uh, like in my county right now, in Alachua County, they want to build a um, biomass plant. Um, and I can see in the future people cutting down our natural trees and planting trees that they can grow to feed the biomass plant. And I can see my county becoming a, a tree farm for an energy plant. So I don't, I don't like that. Um, so those are the kind of things that we work on. We work to protect the environment. I think it's um, important work, and and I have a hard time understanding why other people don't see it the way that I do. That that if you want life to continue, we have to have air that we can breathe, water that we can drink, and feed our 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 animals and our our crops, and of course land to grow it on. And um, here in Florida, we work really hard, and we're fighting to protect the water. Um, actually, um, right now we're in court and we're suing the state of Georgia and we contend that too much water is being diverted to Atlanta and not enough water is, is coming here. And of, of course with the um, constant growth, um, water is um, really important and, and I don't believe that we should be allowed to develop um, um, more than we can sustain. So I live in Alachua County. If Alachua County can only uh, sustain X amount of people because of our water, we shouldn't allow growth to continue past uh, that amount. It doesn't make sense to me. Right. Um, does the Sierra Club work at all alongside Florida Defenders of the Environment? The yes. Uh, um, actually, we have um, um, Christina Jackson, um, who was on our executive committee, was also um, uh, on the committee of Florida Defenders of the Environment okay. um, and um, of course saving, uh, uh, um, uh, restoring where Rodman Dam is, getting rid of it and restoring the water is, is something mm -hmm. that, that we have fought for a long time and um, um, it's the politicians in Tallahassee, they really just do what they want and they don't, they don't have to have a good explanation mm -hmm. and, and then we have to fight really hard to get things fixed. Why do you think the Rodman Reservoir is still there? Because FDE is a relatively powerful, you know, along with the Sierra Club, you know, they, they halted the Cross Florida Barge Canal and yet this reservoir still stands. Because it, it's the amount of power that we have, uh, that our legislators have, and, and um, we had a state senator named Kirkpatrick, and actually uh, um, we call it Damn Kirkpatrick. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and, and all it takes is one powerful person like that mm -hmm. and um, um, the moneyed interests. And in, in this sense, it's not really the moneyed interest, it's the, it's the sportsmen. 
You know, they want to have a place to fish, uh, and they want to have a place to boat, and um, um, they don't care about um, the cost of that. Mm -hmm. It's interesting, though, because you think restoring the Akawaha River, it's not like you're taking away fishing spots. You're restoring a river. Right, but, so. but the thing of it is is that um, you're assuming that um, logic and common sense and reason play a part in the debate, mm -hmm. and they don't. Mm -hmm. And, and that's, that's really hard for my brain, <laughs> that, <laughs> that reason doesn't count, facts don't count, logic doesn't count. Mm -hmm. What counts is money and power. Right, and do you believe that there is a certain ideological or, I guess, emotional attachment that these people have to this reservoir that trumps all logic, and it goes beyond just money and power, it's this iconic reservoir that people need to protect? It's, it's, when I try to wear someone else's shoes, uh, um, to think about how they think and why they do what they do, um, when it doesn't make sense, it's hard for me to get into those shoes. Because I'm trying you to know. understand as well, you know, why... Like you said, they could mm -hmm. fish whether it's a dam or whether it's a river. Mm -hmm. uh, um, so I, I don't really have, I don't understand where they're coming question. from. Mm -hmm. um, but they're very entrenched. They have the power. Uh, in Alachua County, we just um, fought really hard to get an airboat ordinance. Mm -hmm. uh, and, you know, probably 99% of the people that live in Alachua County don't have airboats. It's just a small group, but they have the legislators on their side, and, and um, um, it was a hard fight. And I think you talked to, to Whitey earlier today. Mm -hmm. uh, um, it was Whitey's idea to, he's on the Sierra Club Executive Committee with me, it was his idea to get that ordinance drafted and to fight for it and to get it done, and, and we, we won. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and we worked really hard and we, we won, and we don't, we don't win that often. We, had a, we fought for a clean air ordinance. Now you'd think everybody would be for clean air. The, the newspaper, the Chamber of Commerce, they were all against us. Uh, it, it went on the ballot and we lost. People voted against a clean air ordinance. How could that, how, how am I supposed to explain the logic of that? You know, I, it's just hard to understand. Like those people that, that were against it, I'm sure they have children, I'm sure they have grandchildren. I'm sure they want their children and grandchildren to have a happy life. Um, why would they poison the air? So it's, um, it's more work than I expected, but um, I really like the people that I work with. That's great. Yeah. And you're doing really fantastic work. Hopefully in the future, I think the Rodman Reservoir suit just seems like a war of attrition, and it's just going to take time. It's very, it's very rewarding for us when we do um, um, have a victory. Right. Uh, and um, if you come to the um, a, a county commission meeting or a city commission meeting, and you you hear the two sides talking about these issues. Mm -hmm. You'll see the people on the environmental side, they're smiling, they're happy, they're nice. And the people that want to destroy the environment, they're angry and they're mean. <laughs> and you can see that at the meetings. Mm -hmm. That's really funny. <laughs> That's interesting. Well, thank you so much thank for you so speaking much. with us. Uh, uh, I, you know, I think it's wonderful that the, the, the Samuel Proctor Oral History Project uh, like I know about it because I live in Gainesville. Mm -hmm. um, but when I came here and saw it, I thought, wow, Paul really gets around. Oh, yeah, <laughs> we try. <laughs> but thank you so much. Thank you.